Hey guys, it is Foxy the Pirate here, and I am back doing this video today, and look who it is! It is finally the security puppet plush. Yes, I am a bit late on this, it's been like, I don't know, maybe a week or two since it's been out, but I actually did order it on the first day it was in stock, about two and a half weeks ago, and I ordered it, and everything was shipped, but then it took way too long to actually arrive here, and I just got it yesterday, and I didn't have enough time to make a video until today, so, uh, yeah, so let's get on to the review, and, um, first off, I'm going to be looking at this tag, I love how the tag looks, especially, um, I mean, it's just kind of like the regular generic tag, that the security breach plushies have but again it's a hot topic exclusive if you guys want it you guys can either order it online it might be still in stock or you guys can find it inside of a store and um yeah i mean it's kind of like the regular plushies it goes for about 19 dollars in the store unless you have a coupon i ordered mine for 30 percent off so i ordered mine for like 15 dollars so uh yeah um so let's look at First, let's look at the box, because mine, I got mine, like, a little understuffed, almost. Like, it's kind of, like, still squishy and stuff, but I still like that. But, um, it's kind of, like, made of this material of, like, Freddy's hat. The regular Freddy plush's hat. And, yeah, I mean, I don't mind the material. Again, it's okay. And, um, yeah, I mean, the plush itself is made of that, like, security breach plush material, which I don't mind. I don't really care about the material. I just care about the plushie itself and how it looks. So, uh, yeah, I mean, mostly everything is printed on except for the eyes. Those are embroidered. I don't mind that. And, um, yeah, everything seems to be spot on with this plush. I really love how it looks. But the thing that makes me wonder most is that, like, why did they make this plush now? But, like, again, I don't mind. I'm just so glad that Funko is actually starting to go back and actually make older plushies from older waves. And if you guys did not know, today the new Phantom Balloon Boy plush was released. So, uh, yes, it was released on Hot Topic's website. I did get me a chance to buy one online. So, uh, yeah, I did buy one online. And um, let's look at the side. Again, I'm not going to take off the tag because I'm a collector. So, uh, yeah, the side doesn't look that bad, you know, it's a bit plain, you know, regular. And, um, let's look at the hat, I mean, the hat has, like, it's kind of like Enner's hat, because it has, like, a little bit of stuffing inside of it. And, um, yeah, the little ball, I feel like if I pull on it too much, it'll fall off, so I'm not gonna do that. But, um, yeah, again, my box that I got with this plushie was a little understuffed, so, uh, yeah... But whatever, I'll probably end up buying me another one if I find it in store. So, uh, yeah, um, there's not much to say about this plush. I just like how it looks. It's definitely spot on. I mean, I don't mind the printing at all. And I really do like this plush. So, uh, yeah, there's not much else to say about it. Let's look at this bottom tag right here. Just this 2020 Scott Cawthon. And, uh, yeah, so um, that is going to do it for the review. And I have one more thing to review today, and that is the new figure that I found at my Walmart the other day. And that is the Freddy Frostbear figure. I'm not going to take it out of the box, but we'll do a quick little review out of it. Because I'm probably going to end up buying another one. That way I can actually take it out of the box and display it on my shelf. So uh, yeah, let's just do a quick review on it. So um, with the Freddy Frostbear figure, I mean, I don't mind it at all. It looks really, really nice. The one thing that bothers me the most is that the cracks inside of it, it's kind of like a white and it makes it like kind of off. Same with the little joints on the figure. And I don't really feel like taking it out of the box right now just because like it's probably going to fall apart like most Funko figures do. So uh, yeah, I mean the boxing, it doesn't really look that bad. I don't mind the boxing at all. It is a Walmart exclusive if you guys want to find it. So, uh, yeah, there's not much to say about the figure. We can look at the back. So, there's the back right there. I don't mind it at all. I really do like how this figure looks. And I'm glad that Funko is actually getting to some FNAF AR skins. Because if you guys know me, I do love FNAF AR. I think it's one of my favorite FNAF games. And, uh, yeah, um, I guess um, there's not much else to say about this figure. I'm probably making a separate review on it. 
in the future, maybe if I actually take it out of the box. But um, yeah, that is going to do it today for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like this video and subscribe. And um, let me know your thoughts on both of these things, including the security puppet plush and the Freddy Frostbird figure. Do you guys like it? Do you dislike it? And tell me why in the comments. So um, yeah, if you guys are excited for the um Phantom Balloon Boy plush, please let me know in the comments because I am too. So I hope you all have a great day and peace.